Hey guys, I'm just going to show you how to wire in a um, electric fan, which is in through here, into a um, 12 volt system. This is in a Land Rover in this case. Uh, we're going to need a relay, a 4 or 5 pin relay, doesn't matter which, as long as it's a 30 amp. Um, I've got a relay here, I'll show you how to wire that up in a minute. Um, and you're going to need a, um, a diode. In this case, this is a 1N4007, which is a 1000 volt uh, rating. Um, and with the diode, you've got your little band, silver band on one end. I don't know if you can see that in this light. Yeah, it's a silver band at this end. That means voltage will go that way, but it will not flow that way. The band is basically, it's like if you imagine a cork. Put the cork at that end and nothing will flow that way so if you go this way it'll flow through unrestricted all right so it's like a check valve basically in, in electronic terms so we're going to need that to um, stop a, the spike between the positive and negative on the um, relay when it actually um, de-energizes the solenoid once it clicks in um, when it de-energizes you can get a spike coming through and you can actually get through and just and actually give you a high voltage spike through to your whatever you're actually powering so we're going to prevent that from happening while putting this diode in okay with all the rubbish told <laughs> um, I've got this little diagram here um, this is a five pin relay um, I'm only using four pins in this case because I don't need to use a fifth one you can use just a four pin relay okay so basically this is the diagram here um, we've got the mount down this end, just to demonstrate the mount. Now the 30 amp, uh, oh, sorry there's 5 pins here, they're all num numbered on, every relay's got the numbers on it. Um, and we've got 30, which is your battery, main battery voltage, high, high power but high, high power circuit, okay. Um, then we're going to have um, 85, goes to your um, key on position and it's lighter gauge wire so you don't have to have the heavy gauge wire which is the whole point of using a relay is so you can use fine wire to the relay and then you're only using your heavy gauge wire which is the more expensive stuff um, the shorter distance okay so you can have all your fine wire coming from your ignition etc or, or tracing through and then your heavy duty wire here to the battery and here to your close to your circuit uh, your actually device so that's the reason why you have your relay. Um, it's so it's so you can have a, a a low current can operate a high current circuit without heating up all this wiring here because obviously current causes heat. Um, so uh, we've got earth to the basically this one here. This is an earth switch on my on my um, fan. I'll show you in a minute. It's got an earth switch, which means that um, when an engine's cold, it's got an open circuit on that switch. And when the engine heats up to the temperature whenever the wax melts inside the switch and that will cause it to touch the side and earth out on the engine or chassis back to the battery and actually cause the circuit to close okay and then so we're going to show you that piece there and also we've got this heavy duty wire um, going to the fan which is basically this heavy one here that's my heavy power feed to the fan there okay and then i've got my fan earth which is actually not part of the relay wiring at all. All right. Okay, so I'll show you the, the the sensor. We'll just get this out. I'll take you across the other side and we'll show you the sensor. Now the sensors. I'll climb up here, hopefully. Okay, so we've got our sensor down here. just in here that one there that's just that's my sensor uh, I tested it how you test to see if it's a earthing sensor is you um, with the with this disconnected like so you put your own meter on that terminal and then to earth and if it's an open circuit then you've got it then you know that once it heats up that's going to close and create a circuit with zero resistance and that means it's a new switch. All right. So um, 
we're going to need this one. So we'll connect that back on for now. And we'll get back out of this tight confined space. And we'll show you how it's all done. Right, so with our diode, okay, so basically we've got our two control sides of the circuit here, 86 and 85. 86 is going to the key, uh, sorry, 85 is going to uh, basically a feed coming from the key. So when you turn the key on, just onto the ignition position, um, that's going to supply power to the actual solenoid. But because we're running through the earth switch, the earth side of it is not closed. So that means that the circuit's not complete, which means it won't operate the sensor. Okay. So I'm going to run a diode across 86 to 85 with the band, little band there, facing there, facing to, uh, basically it's going to be connecting this end here up to 86 and this end here up to 85. Okay, so it's going to stop current running and voltage and current running back that way. All right, and that's what we want. All right. So when that de-energizes and it comes back to try and come through the system, it will actually prevent that. Okay, so um, so that's your diode there. I've just put some heat shrink and, and actually fold, double folded it into a um, couple of uh, shielded connectors there, spade connectors. And um, yeah, so anyway, um, so as you can see on this diagram here, we've got the mount at this end so this here is basically spun around this way so basically we're looking at it like so all right as we see it here okay so we've got this top one here goes directly to my battery which you can see here which you can see here i've just got that connected straight into a um a ring connector straight into my battery power positive all right so that's supplying voltage straight in there and that's live all the time, you know, regardless of what's going on, that's always live, all right? Now, um, you've got your diode in there, which I showed you just before. And then on this side here, to this terminal, to this terminal here, this one, we've got the positive from your switch. So basically with the key on, that will turn on and with the key off that will turn off okay you need to find a source that will do that um, I've traced back f through to the switch and found some wiring that will do that and pull this feed from there to um, to supply it okay so I'll just we'll test that with our little tester we'll put this onto earth like so and we'll just test it out first yep we've got a uh, supply there right so I've got the key on at the moment so there should be power or have I no I haven't so there's no power there which is good all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and turn the key on I'll just crank it to get my glow circuit to bypass its normal time on Right, and now we're going to recheck re this and see whether it's got power to this terminal, which is what you want. And yes, we have. We've got power there, okay? So that is on number on the diagram here. Um, 85, as you can see there, all right? And the diode is set up so that... See, I've earthed it out. So you can tell that there's no power coming across here. So as soon as I touch that, that actually earths the system out. So you know that that's actually c correctly done. All right, now on the other side of the switch, you've got pin 86 down here. 86. That goes to your sensor, okay? So now this black wire here, I've got going into my loom. back into my loom here and it spirals through here 
all the way back through to there and then there's a plug a four pin plug down in there and then that goes right across and and comes back up through this loom this green wire and the green wire goes to our sensor which I showed you before okay so and because that's like I explained before because that is not earthed out because the engine's not hot that um, will not obviously close that circuit okay so so that's pretty much it so we've got the positive here to the straight to the battery so you've got power to the device to this relay constantly right you've got your switching power put switches in plus you've got your main heavy feed out to your device so once this once the actual relay operates it will feed this wire which will feed your fan okay so now how do you te how we test this is we pull because we know that when we close the circuit when we close the circuit um, when we close this circuit here this here theoretically if we earth it to the earth on, on the vehicle it should fire the fan up okay so everything working uh, equally we should be able to take this connector off like so and actually earth it onto this connection here because this is actually earth to the chassis so we'll just connect it onto here and see if it goes ready let's try it got to get a connection there we go yeah so that's the fan running On, off. So basically, when the in heat, engine heats up enough, this will turn on like so. All right, and then when it's cooled down again, it'll stop. Heats up again, on. All right, you can get flash fans at a variable speed and all that sort of stuff, but ah, uh, for this purpose, um, yeah. So anyway, I hope that um, kind of gives you a couple of ideas. How you can simply wire up a re wire up a relay. Okay, I'm just going to actually drill drill a hole through the side of the fender here or the guard, and I'm going to just mount. I'll tidy this wiring up once I've finished this little tutorial, and then I'll just mount it in here like so and screw it in with a self tapper, or I'll just rivet it in. But I'll just I just think I'll just get it with a self tapper and self tap into that panel and. That'll be all there. And and because I've used all shielded cables, I'm not going to have a problem with anything earthing out or touching the, you know, if something touches it, it's not going to arc out. So that's usually the best practice. Um, you can buy a plug that'll plug straight into there and you can wire all your wiring that way. And they're quite good too. Just on a little side note, um, if you want to check to uh, see which way your diode works, if you've forgotten and you've got your... Um, Heat, heat shrink tube on just set up your test lead on earth like so and obviously you've got a circuit there and just try connecting your diode to the positive side and if that doesn't work like that way you know that it's not allowing current up through here so you spin it around the other way And it's allowing current up through here okay so obviously the diode band is at this end all right because it's allowing current uh, voltage to come up through the to complete a circuit and if it's the other way around it's not letting it come up okay does that make sense i hope it does